In this video, I'll be reviewing your Pokemon, and more specifically, this is a submission in the North Heart Discord server, in the Pokemon Sleep category, in the YouTube My Mon X channel. It is posted by Wesley. He has posted, or she, four Pokemon. Now, for the future, it is only three Pokemon that I will be reviewing. Now, this was posted before that rule came in effect, and so I will actually honor the submission and have a look at all four. But just know for the future, three Pokemon per submission. And I have extended my offer. So if you're watching this in October 2024 and you become a YouTube member, which is $2 um, with your local currency, for me that is 19 kroner. I live in Norway. And so you get lifetime access to the Discord, early access to videos, and I reply to all the comments anyway, so don't bother too much with that. But uh, yeah, access to the Discord and as part of a special campaign to really boost our community here in the North Heart Discord with the Pokemon Sleep stuff. I am going to review three Pokemon. You post them in the YouTube My Mon text channel in a video like this. And so we already have a thriving community. It's not that. It's just it's so good. I want more people to experience it. So <laughs> that's the point. Either way, we're going to have a look at some of Wesley's Pokemon. And the first one is a really, really strong Riolu. So I put Lucario up in the widget, but it's actually a Riolu. And it seems to have oil, potato, potato. This is kind of interesting. Those are the same ingredients that Cramorant has, now that I think about it. Look at that. We have Lucario and Cram. Obviously, there are different um, specialties, but uh, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? Okay, so this Riolu, Lucario to be, is main skill level 1. It is level 9. But oh man, the comment here uh, by Wesley is that... Uh, he hopes, or she, I don't know, that Riolu is going to be useful in the future. And, uh, oh yeah, let me tell you, I can agree on your behalf because it's got, first of all, the careful nature, huge, on the Lucario. And you can see by that one factor alone, the skill rate goes from 5.1 to 6.12. It's also got the skill trigger S, so we're up at 7.22. It's also got the skill trigger M, so we're almost at 10%. And not only that, it has the inventory of health. So to an extent, you cannot hope for more. Oh wait, there's more. It's got helping speed S at level 75 and the skill level up S. So all of this super solid. This can be subskill seated without wasting any in the inventory S because that's already L and at that point. This is a busted Lucario. It's not going to give you a whole lot of strength. It's just going to give you a lot of skill triggers. And oh man, is that cool. Had I found this Lucario before my current Lucario, I probably would have invested in this one over mine. Mine has a bad nature, helping bonus, uh, berry finding, skill level up M, skill level up S, and dream shard bonus. Just a mess of a Pokemon. Like it's got speed down, EXP gains up. It's just... It's... Like, it hurts to look at, but it kind of works, kind of. So, essentially, the post here is, hopefully in the future, Lucario will be useful. Now, I think, personally, with these stats right here, just, like, cap it at level 50, straight up, that is going to bring you a lot of value, though. You evolve it, that's main skill, level 2, and then 5 seeds. Now, is 5 seeds worth it for a Dream Shard Magnet Pokémon? It depends on how much of a whale you are and how important uh, Dream Shards is overall. I think in the future it's not an impossible that Dream Shards will be a more central resource, in which case Bakari and Swalot could gain favor. Uh, in the future too, speculation, but uh, Mega Evolutions could come along and Lucario has a Mega Evolution and that could be pretty cool. I, for one, just don't understand the naming convention right here. Dream Shard Magnet S. Why is there an S there? I don't get it. Is there because in the future there will be a Dream Shard Magnet M Pokemon? Could be. Somewhat interesting. 
I mean, for charge strength S and M, that's the case. You have Radicate on one end. No, actually not Radicate. Um, Golem, let's say. Charge strength S. And then you have Ampharos, charge strength M. But there are no L main skills. And the thing that we see with the sub skills, we have Inventory S, M, and L. And I think potentially, hypothetically speaking, in the future, maybe the Mega Evolution thingy goes from Dream Shard Magnet S to Dream Shard Magnet M. And in that case, hypothetically, parallel universes, the whole shebang, Lucario could be pretty strong. And with these sub skills, it's ridiculous. It has everything it wants, literally. It could not be better, even up to level 75, and even up to level 100. You have uh, at least one free main skill in that skill level of S, you know? This one right here, you just do use one sub skill seed to gain two main seal seeds. Ridiculous. And then another sub skill seed to get speed M. So yeah, this is definitely a case where you just need to hold your horses and um, wait around to see if there are any meta changes. And I think overall, probably, as I talked about, cap it at level 50. This is a fantastic Pokemon right here. Got the inventory, all the skill triggers on a decent, okay-ish Pokemon, depending on your use. In my opinion, I would say Swalot probably a secret A tier, just because you can put it on your team to slow the progression. Uh, late week, once you've hit your um, Grousy Power target, if there's a particular range you want to go for. And so at that point, you can just put Swalot or Lucario on the team as a break at the same time as you farm the Dream Shard Magnet um, skill. So I don't know. Depending on your collection, your goals, your playstyle, it may even be worthwhile to invest now. It just depends on the depends. So. Let's hop on to the next Pokemon. And overall, I would say this submission seems to just be filled with very pristine finds, which is obviously cool too. Um, but maybe there's not as much discussion and conversation as maybe otherwise would be if there would be more obscure and less used Pokemon. So next up is a shiny Vaporeon named uh, Pinkorion. It's got the uh, ingredient list milk, cacao milk, same as on my Sylveon. And we can reset these ones and see what we got. So the nature is gentle. That's ridiculous. Meat skill chance up nature on a shiny Vaporeon. Pretty huge. It's actually level 50. And <clears throat> I don't know if this one's been evolved or what. Now uh, we can kind of solve that. So level 25, it's got inventory M. And that is level 25. So this has actually not been evolved. And it's got less than 200 hours on it. Which is funny. Okay, we got Skill Trigger S and we got Speed M. So overall, that's a pretty good roll right there. I would say this is a very solid Vaporeon. It's a little bit short on seeds. That's just the way that the game is currently structured. Maybe that changes in the future, but uh, as of right now, it is main skill level 4 on this shiny Vaporeon with these pretty good stats. And I can also reveal that level 75, it gets skill trigger M. So yeah, at level 100, it's ingredient finding. We don't really have to talk about that, but that is really nice for a Vaporeon that is shiny in addition. Maybe you will eventually want to inventory up L that by using a sub skill seed. That could even potentially be worthwhile now because the inventory of 25, you're getting close to level 60 on this one. And at that point, that 4 milk is definitely going to give you some inventory problems every now and then. And uh, we can see that with all these factors, even at level 50, that skill rate is very high. And so a very nice find and uh, congratulations, you found not only a usable shiny, but a pristine one. Next Pokemon is a Quavel. Interesting. I really like Quaquavel. It's a very strong Pokemon. Easy S tier. And we can reset these ones. The nature is brave. So that is speed up. EXP gains down. It's Mono Beans, which is interesting. 
I probably would want Leeks in that level 60 slot personally, but Mono Beans too is very strong. And when we look at these traits, then yeah, it makes sense. So it is level 35, got helping bonus, and it seems that it has been evolved once. So we're gonna put once in here. And then the inventory is 25, so I would assume then it has under 500 hours on it. And then it has the ingredient finding M. Now, this is where we get into the deep like mono ingredient meta because for me personally, this one has mono beans. So beans, beans, beans. When you have an ingredient list that is a mono ingredient list, then having one or two additional factors that are kind of nice makes it really, really strong. So in this case, the Kukuevil has, first of all, mono ingredients, nice. It's got speed of help up nature, which is nice. Maybe it would prefer the ingredients up, but either way, speed or ingredients, great. That's two. You have helping bonus, ridiculous. That's three. And you have ingredient finding on that Pokemon. And at that point in time, it's a home run, like, you invest. The later skills are not as interesting. It's got skill trigger asset level 50. It's got dream shard bonus as if, uh, at 75 and some inventory at level 100. So overall, a very nice find and uh, congratulations. You have a very cool Mono Beans Coquevel. All right, and then to the last Pokemon of this submission, we have a Gardevoir that seems pretty nice. Let's have a look at it. So we have a Gardevoir. We're going to reset some of these again. The level is 51. It presumably has been evolved twice, I would assume. Uh, we can check that with the inventory later. It's 29 in the inventory. So yeah, that basically is on track, I guess. So the nature is sassy. That's pretty good. Now, it is going to require you a little bit extra in um, resources to get this Gardevoir up there. But Gardevoir double S, like, why would you not want to put stuff into your Gardevoir anyhow? Especially with the sub skills that are coming up next. Now, it's an ABC ingredient list. Starts off with helping bonus. And then it has helping speed. So this is a fast Gardevoir. And it's got skill trigger S. And at level 50, this is super solid. Got close to a 6% skill rate. Has a lot of speed in it. Uh, the nature and that skill trigger S play along nicely. And kind of what you would probably want here with all that speed is some extra inventory. So I would probably want to sleep overnight having the Gardevoir on your team and maybe get it to a thousand hours. It does have inventory M coming in at level 100. Level 100 is a ways away. So personally, I'd probably try to get this guard work to a thousand hours just so they have some extra leeway in that inventory. Either way, it's got a surprise here at level 75. The skill trigger M and you just have the whole trinity. You have helping bonus, speed M, skill trigger M, the main skill chance up nature and an additional skill trigger s ridiculous one of the best guard of war i ever seen it is a little bit unfortunate that the skill trigger m is coming in so late but even helping bonus speed m trigger s with the main skill chance up nature is super solid as is and then after that you even have another skill trigger m and inventory so um that's very very cool so Congratulations on this pristine find, and um, overall, I hope you enjoyed my analysis of your Pokemon, and yeah, thank you so much for posting, Wesley. For everyone else, you can leave a big ol' thumbs up on this video if you enjoy this type of content, and if you would like to see more, then I can also encourage you to consider becoming a YouTube member of the channel, to get access to the Discord, which I talked briefly about a great community of very passionate Pokemon fans of all sorts, but a good chunk of them are Pokemon Sleep fans. And uh, yeah, in the month of October 2024, you can submit three Pokemon in the YouTube, my Mon, chat, and I will review them. 
in a video like this. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you around in another video.